Lee, it's the final day of SEC Media Days here in Hoover, Alabama. You can see behind me everyone's kind of wrapping things up. Players, coaches, fans, they're all heading back home and gearing up for the 2012 college football season. SEC Media Days ended with a bang. And how could it not with national champion Alabama making its appearance? We're looking forward to the challenges of uh, the SEC this year. A lot of great teams, a lot of good players, uh, a lot of great coaches and programs. So, uh, as always, I'm sure it's going to be very challenging. We know that we go out and work every day to get ready for the season and take it one week at a time. And uh, we do that. We, have, we, we like our chances if we do that and we do it effectively. And it wasn't just the tie that made a splash. Tennessee coach Derek Dooley's orange sideline pants were a hot topic as well. I feel like, you know, uh, <laughs> I know he feels pretty good wearing them. It's just, it's just hilarious to joke around the locker room, but I mean, he feels like he looks good, so I guess, I guess he looks good. <laughs> and even on the last day of media days, Texas A&M still managed to make its presence felt. Obviously A&M with the recruiting base it has and the history it has, um, I think are very excited about this opportunity. They've got really good players and they've got a good program and they've got a new enthusiastic coach who uh, probably is going to implement a lot of motivation to his guys and uh, I think this, is, this will be one of the difficult teams that um, we'll have to face this year. Well, that's going to do it for SEC Media Days here in Hoover. A&M's football season is just a little more than a month away. They kick off August 30th versus Louisiana Tech. At the Winfrey Hotel, Lane Fobbs, ABC 40 Sports.